And in reality, what need is there for these prime ministers and presidents, really? They must know what's going on. They must know that there's one hell of a contract going on somewhere. I want to know the names of the people that the United Kingdom owes money to. And I want to know the names of the people that you, the United States owes money to. And then I want to know where those people got that money from that they lent out in the first place. There is no money, there is only debt. So if you get rid of debt and get rid of private banking and get rid of politicians that don't tell the people the truth really about the economic system that's totally corrupt and unworkable, unsustainable, because the debt ceiling just keeps getting raised and the people just keep on paying the taxes because they don't know the truth because the politicians don't tell them the truth about how the system works or doesn't work really the people of the nation are the wealth of the nation it is what the people produce that sustains the people. And if it means that England can't actually support, it, support and sustain itself, then there's no reason why the people that have extra resources shouldn't look after the British. But hopefully in a couple of hundred years, when uh, the mass migration is finished and there are new cities all over the planet. There won't be any grief about where a human being comes from, what part of the world. Hemp can do that if it's globally mass produced. We can have a new civilization, and that's what terrifies them about cannabis and hemp the fact that it would change the planet for the better. Humanity needs to be productive. At the moment, for some reason, uh, beyond my comprehension, the system that is now in operation is preventing humanity from being productive. Now, why these people who are stopping human development from happening are doing what their areas is they're doing to confuse everybody by putting them into debt. I, I, I just can't comprehend. I don't know whether that makes sense either. <laughs> this is all too much for me. No, it isn't. I lied. It's not too much. I refuse to acknowledge it's too much. Whew. Humanity needs to be productive in the most environmentally sustainable way. Hence the term hemp for shed. Sustainable human environmental development. That's what the world needs now. Because when you have that, you have humanity living in harmony with nature. And that's what we need. That's what our leaders say we need. 
but they're concentrating on energy. Well, really, there's no need to worry too much about energy. We just need to produce enough biomass for energy. Now, all over the planet, there's millions <laughs> of square hectares of land suitable for hemp crops, but it's not being used. It's not being farmed. So therefore, as I mentioned earlier, humanity builds new cities. And the main crop of that city is hemp. And hemp provides the resources for that city. Then eventually, after 200 years, Birmingham City as it stands today, um, pretty much a shambles, probably won't exist and the population will have been dispersed all over the planet. And the population of the United Kingdom will probably be a lot smaller and probably able to sustain itself. And although lots of the indigenous, if you like, peoples of the United Kingdom, the Angles and the Saxons and the Celts, will have gone off to different parts of the world and perhaps the uh, Hindus and the Pakistanis and the Chinese and all of the other races that are now in England will, will have gone back to their own nations or somewhere else in the world. Humanity is in a, a constant tide, it's in constant movement, it always has been. And we now want to protect the cities that we have. The cities that we have are 19th century cities, really. Almost, well, yes, 19th century. You know, most of the zoos were built in the 19th century in the United Kingdom. And they're still there. But the thing is, we need to be in flux. We need to be moving and occupying these new lands and developing those lands instead of leaving them as wasteland. But now the powers that be want to keep you in slavery, really. paying your taxes. Paying the national debt that shouldn't exist really because the money was never there in the first place to lend to the nation. It was all imaginary money. Anyway, this brave new hypocrisy. that's done away with the bankers, that only has local, regional banking and a national bank to distribute the wealth of the nation to the regions. That national bank would also deal with other countries' national banks. It's as plain and simple as that. Borrowing should cease. It's against the law of God for a start off. You know, give the money. The bank gives the money. And then the country gives the same money back. Eventually. There's no need for interest. There's only a need to sustain oneself. The government talks about austerity. Well, true austerity is just sustaining oneself to the highest level that an individual can be sustained comfortably <laughs> which should be quite simple really I mean I'm comfortable I haven't got any money but I'm comfortable that's that's okay 
ความพักดิ